Welcome back to the Fab Lab. Today we are going to look at why filament runout sensors are so important by taking a look at the largest 3D print I have ever made. And those of you who have seen me on Zoom meetings have seen this thing living beside my desk. It's upstairs and uh, has a point a position of pride in my office. So I started by downloading the Ford engine block that was remixed by Vector Mayhem. It's a more simplified version of the original engine block that Ford put up. And it's, it's very, very cool. Unfortunately, the video of this actually printing on the Ultimaker somehow failed, but I do have some pictures of it here. I started with the Color Fab Engine Gray Metallic, and I used a full roll of it before it ran out. This, as I said, is, is one of the biggest prints I've ever made. When you run out of filament, you get a little alert icon, which when you tap it, you get a more detailed message that says, hey, you're out of filament. This engine stuff is a little stringy, but you can hit it with a hairdryer and clean it up pretty quick. Once the filament is replaced using Ultimaker's awesome S5 filament path, just hit resume. This thing took a whole week to print, but I think it was worth it. There's almost no way to tell where the, the first roll of filament ended and the second roll of filament began. When it was done printing, I just let it cool down and pulled it off the build plate and have enjoyed it ever since. So with that, my name is David Gewurz for ZDNet's DIY IT. Go out there and build or print or go Verone with something cool. <laughs>